Hey guys, Little Coffee Bean here. You've seen those videos of the boring armadillo eggs. Well, I'm going to show you how to make them exciting and better. So, what are the ingredients? Right here we have some shredded cheese. Uh, we have some jalapeno, jalapeno, uh, cream cheese, some, uh, some bacon that's been smoked in my grill, uh, some chorizo, uh, and we also have uh, fresh ground beef. Okay, so for this part, these jalapenos, uh, P.S. they're evil, um, I'm going to get the help from my dad, Crazy Day's Kitchen. Thank you, Little Coffee Bean. Hey guys, Crazy Dave here. So, Little Coffee Bean asked me to step in for this next part. And why is that? Because these jalapenos are what she calls evil. As you can see, for safety purposes, I'm wearing some gloves. Why? Because the oils on this thing is called capsaicin. And what that is, is that is the stuff that makes it burn. Okay, and it burns really bad. So, I'm going to show you the next step. We're going to take these jalapenos, we're going to kind of dice them up. We're going to core them out and prepare them for the next ingredients. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to core the jalapeno. Okay, so we've got the jalapeno here. We're just going to kind of cut it up. Take that part here and just kind of you know, throw it away or whatever. And we want this. Now, for kids, make sure you have adult supervision when you are cutting with a very sharp knife. This is a coring tool, also known as an apple core. I just like it to core just about anything. So we're going to stick that in here and twist it around a few times. Then we're going to kind of pull it out, or if it comes out. And there you go. That's the core. We're going to keep working on this to make sure that all those seeds have been taken out of the jalapeno. Once that's done, then we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay guys, so now the jalapeno has been cored and washed and it looks kind of like that inside, okay? And you want to wash them. Now, <laughs> as you can see, you can hear my voice that I'm a little snivelly. Why? Because of the capsaicin that's in these jalapenos are like burning my eyes and burning my face. So that's why, again kids, get your parents help on this. Now that these have been washed and cored and ready to go, I'm going to turn it over back to a little coffee bean so she can show you the rest of the steps on how to make her armadillo eggs better. Thanks, Dad, for uh, doing that for me. Okay, so right now we just added the chorizo into the bowl. Right now we are going to add the ground beef. <laughs> ground beef. Uh, right there, and just let it right there. And then we're going to mix it all up. And so right, uh, and so right now we are going to take this bacon that has been smoked on my grill. And we're just gonna dice it up into small pieces. Okay, so right now I have got this uh, cream cheese uh, all mixed up in the bowl. Um, and we're gonna add this secret ingredient, ahem, bacon, that has been smoked on my grill into the bowl. And next, we are gonna add one and a half cups of shredded cheese into the bowl. And next, we are gonna mix until it's blended. Next, we are gonna take this mixture that we mixed up, and we're gonna take this and stuff it in uh, in these uh, jalapeno uh, peppers. I mean, jalapeno. Um, and I'm gonna get some help from my dad uh, at him, Crazy Dave's Kitchen to help me with this part. So the jalapenos has been has been stuffed um, with this mixture, uh, and they're all stuffed fast, easy, and done. Okay, so now we are gonna take these jalapenos, take this ground beef, and uh, put it all over it like an egg, cause this is called armadillo egg. Hey, people from. Uh Smoke Daddy, I'm firing my grill up. Okay, so my trigger has already um, started up, and right now we are going to put the temperature down to 250 degrees.
There you go. This is what the armadillo eggs look like before they are going to go in the trigger. Oh. Since these armadillo eggs are too heavy for me, I'm gonna let my dad, Crazy Dave, hey do guys. it for me. Uh, and yes, I did give him permission to touch my grill. Oh my gosh, she said I had permission to touch her grill. Well, these are kind of heavy. So we're gonna go ahead and load them into the Traeger. It is at 252 degrees here. Thanks, Smoke Daddy, for the beautiful controller. I was really super surprised on how fast this grill did the startup, it's holding temperature, and it's ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and slide these armadillo eggs that are on a baking sheet into the Traeger. I'm gonna pull it off just like that, and we're gonna actually leave it in the Traeger for two hours. Stay tuned, and we're gonna show you what it looks like in two hours. Okay, so this is the uh, armadillo eggs done, smoked. Uh, they've been smoked for two hours. This is a little coffee bean, and I'm out with it. And that's Indy, and I think she's out. No, nope, I think she found. Oh, what do we got over here? I think we have a runaway armadillo egg that Indy found. Yum, yum, yum. Hey guys, Little Coffee Bean here. Um, forget it. Hey guys, Little Coffee Bean here. Um, today I am gonna make armadillo eggs, uh, and I'm gonna show you that. Wait, 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 wait. Just wait. <laughs> Okay, hey guys, coffee. Uh, <laughs> I got my the bacon that's been smoked on my grill. We got some jup. I don't know. <laughs> what is this? I <laughs> Thanks, Dad, for uh, doing that for me. Uh, right now, we are going to do the fresh ground beef. Uh, towards uh, the iso. Uh, and, uh, and right now we're just going to take the ground and Every time that little coffee bean is cooking, she has a cleanup crew and a security guard. Nothing ever makes it to the floor when the little coffee bean is cooking. Okay, so right now we are taking these jalapeno, uh, I mean, no, not 